She's very, very highly regarded throughout the council. Everybody knows who Kate is. I did a hairdressing apprenticeship. I found out after 10 months it wasn't the best option for me. I was always good at business and IT at school and I decided to go down that option. I thought it was very easy to apply. I just went on to the national framework and just filled in my details. There was actually quite a nice spark with Kate. She was very warm and I could see the potential there. I have to fight off other managers here because they want to poach Kate all the time. We've taken her on on a permanent basis. She's jumped from a level two to a level four and she's doing exceptionally well. I've worked with a lovely team. I couldn't ask for a better one. They're so friendly, welcoming. And they have been throughout the 18 months. There's a lot of people here. The building itself is massive. You've got to find your way around. And I guess working with the directors, building that confidence to approach them. Kate's got the world at her feet. She has got such a lot of potential and it would be great to be partnering Kate in actually realising that potential. And whether that's with AVDC or with another organisation, I think what we're doing now, we're getting a really, really great foundation for Kate. Some things in the Level 4 don't come naturally with my job and I've got to experience and gain different experience in different departments as well. And Emma comes in, my assessor, and allows me the time to do things. I don't feel like it's an extra task, I can just do it on a day-to-day -day basis sort of thing. It works really well. I'd say give it a go. There's so many different frameworks, etc. you can try and just because you started one doesn't mean that you have to finish it all. You can find something else that you like. Give apprenticeships a go because university is not the only route. You need work experience as well. You're getting the best of both worlds, I think that's what I'm trying to say.